Hi, uh, hey guys, my name is Juan, and uh, today we're going to be covering the iPhone Analyzer software in Backtrack. So the first thing you need for for the iPhone Analyzer is a backup file of the actual of the actual phone that you want to analyze. So uh, I'm going to be using iTunes on Windows, though, and um, you can see that this version is version 10.7. So uh, the only difference between the 10. Point or from later versions is that they have an option here where they uh, allow you to back up manually and this uh, this version of iTunes it's a little differently the first thing you're going to want to do is set up the backup to um, computer and don't encrypt and then right click on the left hand pane right click and select uh, restore I mean sorry excuse me backup um, and that's going to basically create a backup of the of the phone on um, in a folder I'm going to show you in a second. <coughs> now this phone doesn't have uh, too much information um, so it won't take too long. Uh, the length will greatly depend on how much information is on the phone. So, I mean, to find the backup file, you would go to um, your your main users or your uh, your main folder and select the folder called App Data. Uh, App Data won't be available unless you make sure that under the folder options, you have um, all your folders set to show all um, all hidden ones. So, if you set that to apply, then you'll be able to see your App Data. If not, you won't be able to. Um, then go under the folder that's called Roaming, then followed by Apple Computer, <coughs> then uh, choose Mobile Sync, uh, Backup, and then here you'll see a list of all your backup files. Now I only have this one, which is the one I just created right now, and um, and but you would be able to organize them by date modified to see which one would be the latest. But anyway, when you open this folder, you see all these files, and this, there's a lot of juicy and good information here. Um, and uh, as we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we'll see some of the main important files, uh, which are info, plist, the manifest plist, and um, and some other really good ones that you'll see how um, we'll make use of them. So the idea is to, well, for me in my case, since I'm going to be pushing it to backtrack, um, I'm going to create a zip, uh, a zip file of this, and then. Uh, push it to backtrack. So this will take a while so um Alright, so now on backtrack um we can um we can start actually doing the analysis. Now um I've already push the folders over here to backtrack so what you got to do is you go to applications you go to backtrack uh, forensics digital forensics and then choose uh, the iPhone NLI software um, once it's up if your backup files on your root folder then you shouldn't have a problem it should, be show, it should show up there if not you would browse uh, you select that file and um, choose um, analyze um, here you see a lot of information and uh, obviously there's still a lot loading and it's really going to depend on again the size of your uh, the amount of information on the phone but pretty much um, there's a lot of good stuff here um, from uh, the phone number to the ICC ID serial number uh, IMEI number all that kind of stuff uh, which could really end up being very useful um, also on the right hand side you see the manifest uh, which gives you all these applications that are on the phone you see here podcast, the Bank of America, uh, Comcast, um, Everyday Health basically all these apps that are currently on the phone with their CF bundle um, identifier and um, all that other good stuff on the left hand side of this um, this window you see a uh, bookmarks tab that has main messages calls and shortcuts under calls you can select incoming or outgoing I'm going to select all just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like 
So you see numbers with dates when those calls were made as well as um, the direction of them and more importantly the duration. Um, and uh, this is really good for uh, analysis obviously. Under shortcuts, um, the all media link sends you to a window where you see all the images and videos that are currently saved on the phone. Um, you can select them and you can even um, export them all using the button in the bottom called exp export all. <laughs> and uh, you see on the top right there's a video file, so it does videos as well. The concepts um, is is really good and it basically um, gives you a map where you can see um, voicemail, media calls, and contacts that were created at the location it was created at and when it was. It has a visual graphics, um, it has a visual GUI so you can kind of see or analyze the data that way. The address book um, option under the left um, in the left hand side, uh, selecting that will give you the list of contacts obviously. And um, when you select the contact on the right hand side, you'll see the phone number as well as the email and any other information associated with that contact. You see um, on the right column that there's a photo column. If you have photos uh, assigned to that contact, it will show up there as well. The voicemail gives you, uh, gives you um, voicemails where you can actually pl play them right here on the iPhone Analyzer software, which would be really good for uh, forensics. Um, the message, you can see there's other things here, maps, history, friend book friends, uh, I mean Facebook friends, uh, messages um, like SMS and all that kind of stuff, um, which would be really good. However, the phone that I'm using doesn't have any of those, unfortunately. Um, so it won't, it won't show up, it'll show up grayed out. Um, in that same left hand uh, pane, uh, there's another tab, it's called file system, and this is more of a complete uh, look at the phone and it's in a tree format and um, if you sit, look under library uh, you'll see almost everything here it's a lot of good stuff I mean we're looking at accounts uh, I mean just pretty much everything on the phone springboard basically everything that's on the springboard SMS uh, bookmarks history uh, a really good one here is the cookies obviously uh, cookies for um, passwords that are saved, um, call history, calendar events. Uh, this is pretty much the core of it when you want to really see, um, uh, really want to take out uh, all this information, extract all this information from the phone. So uh, iPhone Analyzer in general is a really good software. It's very easy to use um, and um, it has all these uh, features that will come in, in handy. And uh, keep in mind that this is a free software, so you're getting a lot for um, for not paying and pretty much anything at all, they do accept donations, so you can always do that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, look at a quick look at the iPhone analyzer, and um, good luck.